Hey everyone and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. Do you want to cause so much inflation that the WoW economy turns into a complete joke? Well, if that is the case, then you've came to the right place because today we are going to be discussing the effectiveness of order hold gold making across multiple characters. Back in Warlords of Draenor, you can make a truly silly amount of money with next to no work and a hell of a lot of tedium. And uh, yeah, it's not that dissimilar in Legion, just that within Legion, this is a method of converting bloods of Sargaras into gold via the blood vendor as thankfully there is no mechanic akin to the garrison cash. So the good news here is that this is a super fast and profitable way of doing this conversion that requires no professions to set up. Now this was recently made far easier because of the inclusion of a few order hall mission catch up mechanics into the game. So today I'm going to walk you through what those things are I'm going to teach you basically how you can set up a foolproof set of champions in not that much time at all, and of course cover my results. And we'll start off with what my results have been. What have I actually got out of this? Simple enough about 10k per day. Now that is across eight characters, though I suspect there are diminishing returns the higher your character count goes. So I don't think that having more characters is going to like, I don't think that having four characters would make it half as effective as what it has been for me. But the key takeaway here is that this will be easily something that can pay all of your bills, including your WoW subscription via WoW Gold and all that jazz. Now I do this in two sessions, once in the morning and once in the evening. It takes me six minutes per session, uh, with the help of a few add-ons, so a total of 12 minutes per day for a almost guaranteed uh, 10,000 gold. Now that is about 50,000 gold made per hour spent, which is just a bit silly. Now, the only issue here is that every weekend I normally take about 25 minutes to redistribute Bloods of Sargaris and Order Hall resources around my alts so that they're ready for the following week. Now, for the most part, my regular um, gameplay is able to find enough Bloods of Sargaris, especially if you decide to use the Blood um, Shoulder Enchant, um, as I basically do only the gold missions on the characters that I uh, don't really care about. Now, these gold missions cost about 350 resources, which is hardly anything in comparison to the um, 1,000 or 2,000 cost of raid missions. Now, to calculate the numbers here, I use TSM to tally my earnings, but the problem is the TSM does not count bonus gold. Uh, still, it does count one thing for every mission, so I basically worked out that because some of my characters are a bit underdeveloped, I don't have 200% on every mission, so I calculated my earnings based on a 180% chance, um, which is what I overall had on average. Okay, so now that you know what I've been doing, how do you actually go about doing this? So first of all, this was a consequence of my class review series. I had a bunch of 110 characters just lying around, and the new catch-up mechanics of 7.3 made it exceedingly easy to set this up across all of my characters. But you might be asking, uh, what about all of your order hall resources? How the hell do you actually fund this? Because... Well, yeah, you know, you do end up running out of order hall resources on your alts. And after all, some of these gold missions are a little bit expensive. I mean, not really but we should actually just examine the um, the gold mission. So you'll broadly see two types. The good missions that we want cost between 250 and 500 order hall resources. They directly give you 500 to 900 gold plus a flat 1500 bonus. The key to this being a worthwhile enterprise is choosing those missions. The other missions only give you a few hundred gold and, and they cost just as much in terms of resources. You don't want to do them. Uh, so that's fine. How do we actually get all these order hall resources? Very easy. We convert Bloods of Sagaris into the BOA resource items uh, at the Blood Vendor. The rate is like one blood to 200 resources. And now the gold uh, missions on average are about 300, 350 um, order hall resources, which means it's like 1.5, maybe a little bit more Bloods of Sagaris each. Now, once you're set up, that like you will have about 200% success rate on all of the missions. Basically, the bonus roll will be guaranteed eventually. Now, for our calculations, I'll be using a 180% chance, um, but overall, you're looking at straight up 700 gold-ish, plus an 80% chance of 1,500 gold for the bonus, so on average, you're getting about 1,900 per mission. So if it's, say, 1.5 bloods of Sagaris equaling 1,900, it means one blood equals 1,267 gold. And that fluctuates based on the cost of emission, but you get the point. It's a lot of gold per blood of Sargaris. Now, additionally, this benefits from being a direct source of gold that's very dependable. You're not going to have to faff about creating auctions or doing any of that, relisting them, all that jazz. And also, you can do this on the phone app if you're on the bus on the way to work or something like that. So, in terms of how to do this for yourself, well... 
the first thing is to work out what your roster is. First, um, you do need decent, like, broad coverage of the various different threats that are on missions. Normally, this just means having, like, two champions of each spec, and um, that should really do it. And after that, I choose to focus very much on the followers who have bonuses when accompanied by troops. The downside of this method is that it does slightly increase your order hall, um, order hall resource cost, but personally, I think it's worth it because you just get super powerful, like, good success rates very quickly. And the only downside here is you do, of course, need to get that champion gear. So, yeah, getting the champion gear that gives you a success bonus when accompanied by troops might take a little bit of time, depending on what class um, you are. Though, for the most part here, even just having a bunch of flat success chance, like, you know, lucky doodads, etc., um, on your followers, that should do most of the job. Your main go uh, goal overall is to hit 200% success chance, and I found that this troop type method is generally the one to go with. Now, this also also means that I normally take the tier 2 troop upgrade in the order hall when I can. Now, once all this stuff's figured out, you need to go to War Mage Kathleen on the Broken Shore. Now, she newly sells relinquished armor sets for your champions. These cost like 400 nether shards, and they instantly make a champion eye level 880, which means you can pretty much do all the gold missions on offer. You'll also want to head over to Argus and do the questline that unlocks new Argus champion missions. These are definitely worth doing because they will give you access to, you know, the new shiny stuff from the patch but also an instant item level 900 uh, that you can get from some missions uh, for your followers. So by now, you'll have a bunch of followers with really strong, uh, or you'll have just a really strong team of champions. And aside from doing the champion gear and equipment rewarding missions, that, that's it. You're, you're good to just start going in this. It really takes so little setup. Now, do be careful. As I said, only do the ones that have 1500 gold as their bonus reward. The other ones just are not worth it. But yeah, overall, that's it. This is a pretty foolproof way to make gold. Even if you're only doing this in three characters, it's still going to be fast and effective. You will rake in easy money, which means, well, you can do whatever you want with the gold, of course, but normally people are using that to like pay for their sub fee as an example. But guys, there you go, a pretty damn easy way to make some gold that uh, will not take that much time and may lead to some inflation and fuck up the economy, which will screw us all over massively in the long run. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.